Today we're putting a bunch of Amoretti flavorings to the test. This is an apple pie flavoring, a pumpkin pie flavoring, a pog juice, pineapple orange guava, apple cider, pineapple, and elderberry. Let's get started. All right, so you, some of you are gonna go, oh, this video is stupid. We're using an, an Amoretti flavoring. I use them a lot on the channel and I've kind of become the Amoretti guy in the world of mead. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being the Amoretti guy. Um, what we're doing with this, I made three gallons of mead, just regular old traditional mead, clover honey, uh, Lauvin, this is QA23, um, and then the normal stuff, water, whatnot. Let that ferment out. I did this for a test, so I had some extra mead. Put them into half gallon fermenters. So now I have six half gallons of mead here. We're going to put the flavoring in each one. Now, the thing with this is these are meant for adding flavoring. Um, you can do it during the primary. You can also do it during the secondary. So this, honestly, this test is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, we're just basically gonna throw some flavoring into these and then try to decide if it's, uh, if it is true to what it is. These are going in the secondary because it's already fermented. I have not stabilized this mead, so there's a chance that it will kick back up and ferment again, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the appropriate amount of flavoring to each one of these till I feel like it's at the point that I want, and then we'll come back and talk. All right, I've finished flavoring these. I could go through and tell you all the tasting of them. Um, one couple couple notes about it. Each one took a roughly about 1.5 ounces of flavoring. Um, I think one of them took one ounce. I'll go ahead and tell you the starting gravity. Each one was 1080. After the primary was 1.000. And now with some flavoring, we're at 1.004. Each one is gonna need some honey to back sweeten because we've got like the flavor of each thing, but it doesn't have the sweetness necessarily. So honey will help pronounce mead character and also help out that flavor. I might, I'll probably show some video of me back sweetening these. Um, next step will be to take it to a panel of people. And I'm not gonna tell them that these are flavorings. I'm gonna tell them that this is the well, I'm not gonna tell them anything really. They're just gonna know that it's a pog mead or an elderberry mead or something like that. I don't know if these are referment, but we'll kind of have to see what happens. All right, here we are for the tasting portion. Now I do need to go ahead and tell some backstory of what happened. After I put the flavorings in, these did referment um, some and so I had to stabilize them once they stopped fermenting, rack them over again, and then I went ahead and back sweetened each one with a specific amount of honey. So you'll see the amount of flavoring and honey and all that stuff uh, added on the screen right now. But we're here for the tasting. So as you can see, we have two flight boards. One of them has or is in front of my wife who's here to help with the tasting. So she's gonna give her opinion of these things and if they taste like true, what's in front of us. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. From left to right, um, we have the pog mead, which is the passion orange guava, the pineapple mead, elderberry, apple cinnamon, excuse me, apple cider, um, pumpkin pie, and then apple pie. So we're just gonna start from the left. Okay. So this one is the least clear, which is kind of fun. I don't think this one is gonna clear at all. Just go ahead and taste it. You tell me what you think. Oh, it's pretty acidic. It's mm. good. Yeah, this one does have, it's interesting. I mean, I guess it should. Mm. Passion fruit, it's got a lot of passion fruit. And a little bit I of orange. I don't really know what guava tastes like, to be honest, on its own. It's always paired with other things. That's part of the problem. Did you use just one? Is it like a pog? It's like a flavoring. Like it's like whole, all three. Like all three, mm -hmm. not three individual. Yeah, ones. these are the Amoretti flavorings. Mm -hmm. This is So it's one, a pog flavoring. This is what I've used in that cider, it's, or in that hard seltzer. The same yeah. one. I was, I think I, I think I maybe like the flavor better in the seltzer than I do in the... Oh really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. This one does have, it's a little sweeter for one. And it has um, a little bit of a 
the acidity side that I didn't expect. I don't know why it's acidic, because it's more sweet. But there is honey there, which is kind of nice. I mean, I like it. Let's, I want you to give out of, let's say out of 10, a rating. Well, how, I don't, I don't know how to compare it to other ones yet. So I'm no, just, off. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll circle back. You I'll can circle back and do it at the end. Okay. I don't feel like I can. We'll give our ratings. Cause what happens end. if I give it an eight and then something else? So, is okay. Like we'll rank amazing. them at the end. How about that? Okay. okay. That sounds good. Okay. Um, let's go on to the pineapple mead. Okay. This one's actually pretty clear looking. I'm going to take a drink of water. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I don't really get a lot of pineapple. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't get a lot of, I, I know that, like I said, some of these acidic, like, yeah. It's acidic, like it's citrusy kind of, but yeah. it's not, it's maybe at like the very front. It's light. It's like, so the pineapple to me, there's like the bright pineapple, like an underripe, or yeah, like an underripe beginning of your bite pineapple. And then there's like the warm pineapple. And this is like a warm pineapple, like more juicy than it is like bright. It's not very bright. Yeah, I don't get a whole lot of it. Kind of, it's very faint. But it definitely doesn't taste like a traditional, like there's definitely something there. It yeah, just... it's got tropical side, but it's not pinpointing to no. pineapple. All right, let's go on, on to the next one. This is elderberry. I'm not even really sure if I know what elderberry is supposed to taste like. Um, I always call it like a dirty blueberry. Like it tastes like if you rolled <laughs> a blueberry around in some okay. dirt a little bit. We'll see. That's what it tastes like to me, at least. Nope, mm -hmm. not it. No, not it. <laughs> Well, this, I one, really like this I, one, I will say, this one I did not end up back sweetening, mm -mm. and I can't remember why, but it is. It is tart. It's very tart, Ooh. very dry. Ooh. It makes my salad very. I get. Tart. I. <laughs> I have. I have had elderberry before though, so I know that what it tastes like. And to me, it does taste like elderberry. The problem with this one is more so in that it doesn't have enough sweetness to support the flavor, and so oh, yeah. it is it's tart. Got, it's got plenty of flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> it's really tart. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Move on to the next one. Apple cider. I'm curious to see how this one is compared to the apple pie. Mm -hmm. This one's sweeter. It is sweeter. For sure. I'm not, I can't, hang on. It's hard to pick up the apple exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say too. I get cider. But I guess I don't really know what cider <laughs> tastes like on its own. It does well, have like the it has the um, like the spice to it, but it doesn't have the fruit. cider is like innately apple based generally. Like most people would consider apple. Well, yeah, you like, can have like pear cider. You can, but like the OG, I would say cider oh. that people refer to is apple. So, so maybe that's why. Mm -hmm. The sweetness is nice. I don't get a lot, a ton of apple. I mean, it's roughly there, but it's. Although I don't, I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. It is, it is good. I will say that aside from the elderberry one so far, these have been good. They're like good meads and they're, they don't have a lot of alcohol burn. I have noticed mm -hmm. that it's, they're pretty faint. No. Um, they do have some age, but. I actually like this one a lot. I just, the app, if you told me that that was, I don't think I would have picked apple out. Mm. If that makes sense from it. Yes. That's really good. But I like it a lot. I just Well let's get to the last two now. The last two are are the pie versions. So a pumpkin pie and an apple pie. <laughs> so uh, what makes them pie? Just spice? Probably I think just spice. They like, added some if spice. They use pumpkin spice and then Yeah. Like, so pumpkin spice. flavoring plus the spices, all spice, nutmeg clove, I'm sure. Or like this is supposed Seven. to taste like a a pumpkin pie. If it actually does, we will find out. Sure smells like it. I like this. I just, I just smell a bunch of spice. Mm -hmm. I get a little pumpkin, but it's mostly spice, yeah. Yeah. I will say, you definitely taste it. You like, you definitely taste pumpkin. You definitely taste pumpkin spice. Uh huh. I just, I don't think it's my favorite in a mead. No. I it. This one doesn't have enough. One thing to denote about all these is they're very juicy, very watery, in that like they don't cling like you know like a red wine. Mm -hmm. Like when you drink a red wine, it kind of makes your mouth go like pucker up and have some problems. And um, so that's it. All right, moving on to the apple pie. The last one, I mean, it's just spice heavy. I think we talked about that. Let's see if this one's spice heavy. What what do you get on the nose? 
a lot more apple. I get a lot of apple and a lot of spices, and it's like cooked, cooked apples. Cooked, yeah. It's baked apples. Like definitely smells like it's an a little apple bit pie. like like apple saucy. Well, that's also baked apples. <laughs> I know. It's, I like the fragrance on this one. Yeah, it smells like an apple. I say both of the, both of these with the spices have a lot of fragrance. Ooh, I like this one a lot better. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the the. To me, apple pie and apple cider could be the same. Like if you told me that this one was apple cider, I would have believed you. But do you not get way more spices on the pie than the cider? Yeah, I do. Because this like to me. But doesn't cider have some spice to it? Maybe a little like bit, but this is like a bomb of spices. Yeah, I guess that's true. Maybe I just, my mom always puts spices Maybe it's in extra, apple yeah. cider. <laughs> so I'm sure why, that. That's probably why I'm like, well, this tastes like it. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we, why don't you take a second and. Okay. Try them all again. <laughs> well, yeah, let me do, let me do one thing. Okay, so we've ranked them now. <laughs> kind of a combination of, of what we like most, but also accuracy in some way. Um, so here's yours. <laughs> We have very, <laughs> we just have very different results. Yeah. So you went apple pie. I went pie. apple pie for sure first. I think it like most definitely smelled like the aroma, the flavor, very much. I think the most accurate. Yeah. Of them, and I honestly, I mean, well, also you know me, I'm very bent towards apple cinnamon. And yeah. <laughs> so yes. I, I liked it a lot, so I put that one as one. The spices are a little too heavy for me for that one. Oh, I loved it. it. I mean, it's just like there's apple, but there's a lot of spice, almost too much. If I'm going to drink something called apple pie, though, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to have spice in it. Well, so your number one was apple pie. Yeah. My number one was the pineapple. And I, Interesting. I really? picked that. I picked that one because I think with a little more flavoring, it would have brought more pineapple in. This one to me is the most smooth and it has like tropical flavor. Um, I would much rather drink a whole. I originally had it at three, and mm -hmm. then I moved it to four. Yeah, I think it's. I think with a little more brightness, it like would, just more flavoring into. Yeah, more flavor. Just a smidge more flavoring would have kicked it up. But I don't know. I just didn't have enough. I guess maybe that's part of it. It just didn't have enough flavor. Although yeah. when I went back and tried it later, like after I tried like the apple pie, meat, which is pretty in your face. Yeah. With its flavor, I was able to pick it up a little bit more. Yeah. But. It still has it's really honey good. too. Part of yeah, it is. It's really good. It's it's still pretty. I hate to use the word needy, but it's still like yeah. pretty like. That's the thing is there's still honey. I think that of the of all of these, this one retained the most honey. Yeah. Character. I'd agree. All right. So number two for you was, was pog. Pogmead. I put that as my number three. My number two was apple cider. Again, See, it still had a three. little more. This one, apple cider had a little more. Um, honey character yeah i ended up putting it over pineapple bee but i think that maybe just be out of personal preference yeah and that's part of this is it's a lot of personal so the number three was for you was apple cider it was pog for me so we just kind of got this flipped number four was my apple pie what was number four for you pineapple number four mm -hmm. mine went apple pie okay pog, apple cider and then pineapple okay so we kind of got these the first four were just kind of a little bit different yeah and they were harder for me i mean apple pie went to the top for me but that's because i liked it but i really struggled with where to put these three yeah i kind of went back and forth on them but i ended up liking the pog meat i think in the end more than i thought i would when i went back to try them mm -hmm. and then so pie we agreed on them. pumpkin pie yeah we agreed on that and then we also agreed on the last one elderberry mine went in eights out of five <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen <laughs> <laughs> no it was good it's just a tart it's so tart for me that i've it like, yeah. it like hurt my mouth it's a just, little bit. It was very, yes, very, very dry. I do think I did a little bit of a disservice to this by not back sweetening, but as far as flavoring is concerned, I think that they they got the flavoring, but I did not do the sweetness. And so that's my problem. I, I think say. part of it is too, I don't even know what, I mean, a dirty, a dirty blueberry is supposed to taste like. So I was like, well, I don't know. I've never, don't, have, don't know what to call this. Don't really like it. It's going in eight to five. I've never had a real, elderberry so i've only ever had the flavoring all right well makes me think of um uh what's the movie uh it's um molly python oh 
your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. No, I mean, that's probably the only other time I've heard of elderberry. You never really hear it anywhere else. Yeah. Maybe I in like smoothies. Elderberries. <laughs> so this is, this was how we ranked these. I would say overall, the flavorings themselves are pretty accurate. Um, what you do to, what you do, in, especially in mead, to bring back sweetness is uh, important. Post flavoring these, they had flavor but lacked, um, I mean, that, that sweetness there. And if you think about a fruit in general, you can have something that tastes like apple, but in a, a dry apple flavor is going to be less preferred, in my opinion, than a apple flavor with some sweetness. Because a lot of the sweet or a lot of the sugar in fruit are what provide the flavors, as you might know. So that's how we ranked them. I would say if you want to go check out Amaretti, it'll be down in the description somewhere in here. But uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Obviously, it's nice to have an extra guest on here, someone who just has a uh, an opinion that is not someone who created it. So thanks for tasting. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I do this a lot, just not on screen. Yeah, not so. on screen. All right, well, see you in another video. Uh, cheers.